Have you ever wondered why pretty people always seem to be more accepted by others? Have you ever wondered why pretty people are always liked so much more than you? Have you ever wondered why Kim Jong-un, the most handsome person alive, is also the best golf player and the best mountain climber in the world? And why he can even control the weather? So today on your favorite YouTube channel, why are pretty people better than you? Welcome to Brains Applied. The short answer is, they aren't better. When meeting new attractive people, we unconsciously assume that they are more intelligent and more skilled than their less attractive counterparts. This is a cognitive bias named the halo effect. The halo effect was first described by Edward Thorndike. During his research, Thorndike noticed that people consistently tend to rate some people to be better at different kind of traits than they do with others. As if they have a certain halo of goodness around them. That halo is the halo the halo effect is named after. I am not talking about the game Halo. Plenty of studies about the subject have been conducted with mostly students. Why students? Because there's plenty of them at the university and you can blackmail them into participating in your experiment to pass a course. Every single time again, the students didn't rate attractiveness as an important aspect of a potential partner. And yet, every single time, the attractive people scored better on all kinds of traits, like perceived intelligence or perceived social skills. Even though the ratings were estimations based on pictures. The conclusion is, what is beautiful is good. But it does go beyond that. One study found that more attractive criminals are given less harsh sentences. Another study found that people with regular, positively evaluated names get better grades than people with unusual, negatively evaluated names. And in an experiment, 400 psychiatrists read the same case file. Depending on the name of the patient, they advised different treatments. People with positive names were more often rated as schizophrenic and being in the need for treatment. While people with negative names were more often seen as drug abusers with personality disorders. In marketing we see that the positive features of one item of a brand generate more enthusiasm for the other products of the same brand. But why does the halo effect exist? There seems to be no real conclusion about why the effect exists, but most likely it's because our brain likes to generalize things. Let's say you're meeting someone new. At that point, there's only one thing on which you can make an initial assessment of the person. The looks. And although we like to think that we are very rational people, we will automatically use this judgment to create ambiguous ideas and prejudices about what this person is like, even though these traits might be completely unrelated to their looks. The halo effect exists because our brain tries to generalize information to keep things simple. That's why first impressions do matter. But be aware, there's also something called the reverse halo effect. Research has shown that more attractive people are also more likely to be rated as narcissistic, materialistic, less competent parents and more likely to cheat on their spouse. And then there is something called the horn effect. The Horn effect states that being unattractive makes it more likely that you will be accused of a crime and other bad things. So take care of your posture, your appearance and don't forget to smile because that will already make you much more beautiful. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. If you like this video, press the like button and tell your friends and if you want to see more psychology videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later.